trick. I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a, a goose. I see. I see a line at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. W wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. You really are my best friend. Yet. It's so dark. Changelings, what brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost. It's all mine. We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator, but what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Now, if you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? The Krusty Krab... Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me, I swear.
Since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> One hour later. ourselves a train to catch.
pizza is the pizza for you and me. SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows... SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. <laughs> I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, 
is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. Two? Create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. They'll be much bumpier, too. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh, yes. I think he called them... What was the word? Art. Well, I'm going to call them Samantha. Don't give up hope! SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way! 